All right, I have decided to end egg. <laughs> no row, wrong. As you please, right? Cooking up. Hi, this is Cooking Appa. Today, our Appa is going to fry some mee sua. I remember the last time I fried a mee sua dish. A lot of people, I think thousands of them, actually tried to argue with Appa saying that no Appa, that is e me, that is not mee sua. So today, for the sake of uh, reducing the argument, I show you the packing. Did you see the word mee sua? <laughs> So this is actually fried mee sua. Now if you can't get the ready uh, fried ones, you can also try to deep fry yourself. If you don't mind. Uh, uh, because um, it takes a little bit of uh, techniques to fry mee sua also. So I prefer to buy the ready made ones. Yeah? So um, to fry mee sua is not difficult at all. Basically, it's all about making a nice broth. And usually the broth that um, the hawker like to use is a combination between pork broth and also prawn broth. So today I have some prawn broth. We are going to make the prawn broth shortly. Uh, this is few pieces of uh, prawn and also I have peeled off all the uh, shell and few pieces of ginger here. This With this we are going to make the prawn broth and we are going to add in some veggie. Yeah? Uh, any veggie you like, um, you can put it tauge. This is actually, I'm using Chinese cabbage today. And instead of using pork broth, I'll be using my cooking apart chicken stock powder to make some chicken stock instead. And we have some, uh, this is a uh, shallot and also garlic. So first of all, we are going to make the prawn broth. Give it some oil. A little bit more oil is fine because actually it can be used as a prawn oil as well. Heat it up and you want to make sure it is uh, really hot before you add in, put in the prawn shell. Once it is heated up, you can actually put in the ginger slices first. This will help to remove the uh, fishiness of the prawn later. Alright, once the ginger is flavored, has flavored the oil, we can now put in the prawn shell. And be careful, prawn shell always contain a lot of water so it can splatter. Especially the prawn eyes. If you're very scared, you can actually remove the prawn eyes. Now we are going to saute the prawn shell for a couple of minutes until uh, it is a bit charred. And that's where the fragrance really comes up. We we'll come back shortly. Now at this particular stage, making the prawn broth, you cannot be very um, too impatient because you really need to saute the prawn shell until it is fully cooked. If uh, your prawn shell is not fully cooked later and you add in the water, then your whole broth will become fishy. So you do need to spend a couple of minutes to saute this prawn shell until it's charred. You can see this is only like about 2 minutes, it's already started to char. Next thing you will see is the oil will turn orangey, see? Beautiful orangey colour. So later, uh, this is going to make your prawn broth orangey in colour as well. Alright, this is after approximately 3 minutes sorting. You'll see all the prawn shell has already been coming char. This is the time where we can add in some hot water. One big bowl of hot water. Next thing, we are going to bring this to a boil and let it boil for probably about 2 to 3 minutes. Then your prawn broth is done. You don't have to add in any salt or any flavouring at this stage. Look at the beautiful golden color. Right, the prawn broth has been boiling for the past two minutes or so. It is basically done. I can now off the fire. Look at the beautiful color. Next thing, very simple. Use a sieve to remove the ginger and the prawn shell. Whatever left, 
will be our beautiful prawn broth today. So this prawn broth actually takes us less than 10 minutes. That's how simple it is. Prawn broth is ready. Right? So give it a bit of oil here and heat up the oil. Once the oil is heated up, we can add in the ginger and garlic. Saute it for a while. We come back shortly. Once the ginger and uh, sorry, the garlic and uh, uh, shallot started to brown, we can put in the veggie. Any veggie you like. But if you are using a uh, tauge bean sprout, you probably want to uh, add in the tauge right before the end. Different veggie will have different cooking time. Next thing, we we'll add in the broth. And like I mentioned earlier, we are going to use a combination between a prawn broth together with chicken stock. So I'm going to add in one teaspoon of my cooking apa chicken stock powder. Of course, over your side, you can uh, combine it with pork broth. Actually, outside, they are using uh, more on uh, pork broth and prawn broth together. Now we are going to season this. Give it some salt. Some oyster sauce. Some fish sauce. And let's cook this for a while allowing the veggie to soften a little bit because it will take a bit of time for Chinese cabbage to soften. Right, this is after another, another two minutes. Once the veggie has softened a little bit, I'm adding in the prawn. Together with the fried Deep fried imi. So softly, you want your e, uh, deep fried. Sorry, it's not deep fried imi. It is deep fried mi sua. Okay. <laughs> Now you just want your miso to be uh, softened from the broth. It won't take a long time because the deep fried miso is already cooked. And you want to be gentle with it so that you won't um, break your miso totally. Ah, slowly it's really coming to shape. And it is okay to have some sauce, yeah, don't worry. A little bit of sauce for this dish is perfectly fine. Later, you can thicken the sauce out with uh, an egg if you like. To me, that is uh, optional. Right, look at this. Look at how beautiful it is. Almost like man yi mi already. <laughs> now I'm going to um, put in some fried garlic or you can put in some fried onion to further enhance the flavor. And also a few dashes of white pepper. It is basically done. So now it's only up to you whether you want to add in some egg or not. To me, that is optional. Alright, I have decided to add an egg. <laughs> no right or wrong as you please right it's done now we can serve all right so here's my uh, very simple fried mee sua you can top it up 
with some fried garlic on top also. Right, done. So if you like my very simple video today, uh, do share my video on Facebook to your friends. Come to Cooking Up Our Facebook fan page to click like and follow button, follow up on the Instagram and subscribe to Cooking Up Our YouTube channel. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.